Hey guys, do you feel like everyone else has this whole organization thing figured out? Don't worry, no one really has it figured out. However, I have 10 secrets of organized homes that I think are gonna be really helpful and I'm gonna share them today. These aren't things like go out and buy some bins or some baskets. I think that just adds to clutter. So let's get into it. I would also love if you would subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of good content and helpful home hacks to share. Okay, so my first tip is to keep organization simple. So. The way that I like to do this is I sort of think about the things that I like to use every day and where I like to use them, and then I like to make those things accessible. So just some examples. If you take vitamins every day, well, keep your vitamins right in your kitchen, maybe next to your glasses so that you can have some juice or some water with them, and just have them right accessible at eye level. The other thing is, I only keep things on the kitchen counter that I use every single day, so I don't just leave a bunch of appliances on the counter. I only use things like our toaster or our coffee pot or our bread box, just the daily things that I use. And then for the other storage space in my house, like the things that are down low or up high, I'll put things that I don't use as frequently there. Or another thing you could do, you could have a basket of clean sheets near your bed. You know, just think about the places where you use things and what you use in those places and then make it easy on yourself and keep it very simple. The next secret of an organized home is that everything has its place. So sometimes I'll walk around my house and I'll feel like there's just like random things sitting out and sitting around and they don't belong there, yet I don't have anywhere to put them and it's because they don't have a place. So you know, just assign a place for everything, a closet for coats, a drawer for utensils, a basket for shoes, an area for sports equipment, whatever it is, just make a home for everything. And I have to say, if you can't figure out a home for that particular thing, then maybe think about getting rid of it. My next tip is to just leave the room as you found it and just practice this every day is sometimes I'll take a photo of the room, like the living room, and then at the end of the day, I'll just tell my kids, I'll show them the photo, I'll post it up somewhere, and I'll say, make the living room look like this. And then they'll have to go through the room and put everything back, get everything out that doesn't belong there. Essentially, just leave the room as you found it. So try to do that as you're leaving different rooms of your house. So once you've cleaned a room, that's how you want the room to look, and then as you use it throughout the day, just leave that room in the same condition. Next is to start your week off clutter-free. So every Sunday, I think just go through your house and get rid of clutter. I've, I've given tips before where I've, I've said, you know, get rid of five things a day or set a timer for five minutes to get rid of clutter in your house and just take five minutes to do it. But I think if you could every Sunday, even just set the timer, say you wanna do Sunday for 20 minutes, Sunday for five minutes, Sunday for 10 items, whatever it is, just every Sunday, declutter a little bit in your home and then you can kind of start the week off right. And while you're doing the decluttering, take a moment to just tidy up your house as well and then you'll start your Monday off really well. Another rule that I totally live by is to never go up or down my stairs empty handed. So I'll just, whenever I'm downstairs and I see things that need to go upstairs, when I'm going there, I will take them with me and then same on the way down. If you don't have stairs in your home, another thing you can think of is to never leave a room empty handed because there's always stuff around the house that kind of gets moved around where it doesn't belong. And so if you, when you're leaving a room, just stand up and quickly scan the room and say, what do I need to take out of here? What doesn't belong? And just grab it as you're already leaving. My next secret of an organized home is to always organize the entrance of your home around coming and going from your house. So kind of like what that means is when you walk into your home, you wanna have a place for your keys, you wanna have a place for your shoes, you wanna have a place for your bags and your wallets, just kind of have everything easily accessible in that entryway so that you're never just walking into the door and just throwing your stuff all around and leaving it that way. I find that having an organized entryway and one that's really planned around arriving at the house or leaving the house really helps to keep the home more organized and just makes everything a lot more functional. My next rule is to keep your drawers really organized and a simple way you can do that is with a drawer divider. And honestly, if you don't wanna go out and buy a drawer divider, you can just use, if you have like pieces of cardboard or plastic, I find that this helps so much. I have so many drawers and it's just, really chaotic in those drawers if I don't have dividers and I, I don't have the drawer organized in that way. Okay, my next secret is to watch out for flat surfaces. These are a killer. They're like literally just like screaming for clutter. So I just have to find that I need to be really careful with flat surfaces. These are the places where 
you know, you just see this flat open space and you want to put your stuff on it. If you have problems with other people in your family, I've gone so far as to post a sticky note and just say like, don't leave things on this counter. Don't leave clutter here, whatever it is. I just think that if you can keep your flat surfaces clear, it immediately makes your home look cleaner. And it's, and it's easier to even, even if it's not clean, it looks cleaner, but it's also easier to clean if you don't have to move a bunch of stuff to get to the space. Another secret is to organize your things electronically. Some examples, instead of saving all your kids' artwork, just to take photos of them and then you can store them on your phone, you can store them on a, a little drive, you can store them in a photo like cloud-based service. I think that's easier to do than just having a bunch of things around. Same thing with like receipts that you may need or documents that you may wanna save, just scan them, take a photo. You could also do this with music, you could do this with books. Even if you have like recipes, take a photo of that. Obviously, if you have a book collection or a record collection and you love it, then don't do this tip. Take the tips that you think work best for you. Okay, my next secret of an organized home is to put things away right after you're done using it. This is kind of a thing that you need to consciously think about and do, but it's almost like when you're cooking, put the ingredient that you've used away as soon as you're done. Or if you're reading a book, put your book away when you're done reading it. If you're taking off a sweater, go hang it up as soon as you're done using it. Try to be mindful and think about the things that you're using and how you can immediately put them away when you're done. Prevent clutter from continually building up and it will dramatically improve the clutter and appearance of the tidiness of your home. So I've shared before that I think that clutter is literally the only thing standing between you and a tidy, clean home. I've got another video, it's 10 fast hacks to declutter today. They're things that you can get started on right away. I'm gonna link it here. Go ahead and click on this video and I will see you over there. Thanks for watching.